Hi, today I'm going to show you this simple two-wire DC voltmeter. Right now I've got it hooked up to a 12 volt battery and you can see it's measuring around 12.7, 12.8. Now this is a very simple uh, voltmeter. Basically it just has two wires, a positive and a negative, and you just connect those straight to your battery or your power source. And it can measure between 4.5 volts and 150 volts. It's got a very large range of measurement. Now this is great for solar applications where you want to get a rough idea of how much uh, charge is left in the battery but you don't want to spend out for something more expensive like a watt meter. Now of course this is only going to tell you the battery voltage, it's not going to tell you how much power you're using. But using this chart here you can tell roughly how much power is left in your battery based on the voltage. Now these sell for anywhere from 200 to 400 peso in the Philippines and if you buy them online, uh, for instance from eBay, Hong Kong or China, you can get these for you know, a matter of 150, 200 peso. Um, you can get them very cheap, just basically a couple of dollars if you want it in uh, American prices. I connected a load to the battery, which is this DC to AC inverter. I'm going to turn it on and we'll see how the voltage drops. So you can see that the voltage has dropped to around 12.4 volts and if we turn it off, the voltage will gradually rise back up as the battery balances itself out again. Now as I mentioned, you can measure any power source between 4.5 volts and 150 volts, DC of course. So I've got some of these little coin cell batteries, um, they're rated for apparently 3 volts, but I know these aren't um, full because I've been using them for various projects. So let's attach the meter and see what it reads. It's reading 7.3 volts. So, you know, based on that you get a rough idea of how much charge is left in your batteries and how much longer they're going to last. Now the great thing about these little DC voltmeters is that all the electronics are built in. You don't have to worry about connecting resistors or anything like that. You literally just connect it straight to your battery. You could add an inline fuse if you wanted, but I don't think it's really necessary. Um, and they have these nice little clips here. So basically you cut out a square, for instance, in your panel of wood, push it through, and then it will be clamped tight in place. Um, and you'll have a nice face plate on the front. So this is really great for solar applications where you want to be able to quickly see the battery voltage without having to get a voltmeter and open up your box and get to the battery and everything like that. Um, and of course you could just add a switch uh, on one of these to make sure that it only turns on when you want it to be on. Talking about power usage, let's see how much power this thing actually consumes. So I've got the DC voltmeter hooked up through my multimeter to the battery and you can see it's measuring around 24 to 25 milliamp. So that's a very small amount of power that it's consuming. Um, so even if you left this running 24-7, it wouldn't really consume much power. Um, but of course, you might as well just add a switch so you can turn it on and off, um, because there's no point in wasting the power for nothing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're looking for an easy and cheap way to monitor the battery in your solar setup, then you should really consider one of these little meters. Um, they really are pain free and they just work. Thanks for watching and if you did enjoy the video please give a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. And if you have any questions put them in the comment section below.